Okay, this is the um, second part of the 3D trig problem. That, and you, everybody should get the first thing for sure. That they say, if k equals 10 meters and theta is equal to 50 degrees, calculate the area. Well, the first thing you do is let's figure out how big SD is, the area of CDS. Well, first, let's figure out how long this side is. We need that if we're going to figure out the area of something and use the area rule. So we just put k is 10 and theta is 50 degrees and put it in the calculator. And we get 15.56, and they give us marks for that. If that's 50 and that's 50, then this angle up here must be 80 degrees because of angle sum at a triangle. 50 and 50, 180 minus 100. Hey, that was pretty easy. That's 80 degrees. And now we've got the area rule in our formula sheet. One half, two sides, and CS and SD are both the same. So it's 15.56. We multiply them to, together times the sine of the angle in between them. We just put that in our calculator and we get 119,22 square meters. You know, when they say area, you'd get to have really comfortable with the area rule of just one half A times B times the sine of C, the angle that's in between them. Don't think in terms of the letters. Think of always just you've got a side here, a side here, an angle in between. It's like one half the base times the height, but it's one half these two sides multiplied together times the sine of the angle in between. You know, if the sine's 90 degrees, it equals 1. And it's just 1 uh, half times the base times the height. But that, that's another story. Okay, there you go, 7.2.